I'm Jonathan Hans. I've been a member of PAS for over 40 years. And in those 40 years, I've collected some of the most unusual percussion instruments anywhere in the world. My favorite one is actually a drum that I built myself. This is the world's largest timpani. This drum is 74 inches in diameter. It's large than the, any timpani anywhere in the world. Originally, it was a bowl that was used to make Swiss cheese in Aspen, Colorado. And it was shipped to Aspen, Colorado during the mining days when silver was mined out of the mountains. Well, I found this in a garage sale and decided that not only would it be great for Swiss cheese, but more importantly, I could put a head on it and I could turn it into a musical instrument, into the world's largest timpani. So then the Remo company sent me this wonderful piece of mylar that they make many of our drum heads out of. I was able to make a counter hoop and I went to Home Depot and found all of these luggage straps that you would put on your car. I attached them to the bottom of the drum and lo and behold, it actually worked. The 74 inch largest timpani in the world. intriguing instruments that we have in the penthouse is one of the oldest and certainly the tallest drums in the world. This drum is from Mindanao in the Philippines and is over 400 years old, is in its original condition, and I found it in a cow pasture at the T. Lazy 7 Ranch in Aspen, Colorado, where I'm on the faculty during the summer. This drum originally would be used in a fort and there'd be about 20 of them stationed in the fort that would be used for either signaling or for ceremonial purposes. I have one, I'd love to have 12, but I don't think there's that many that still exist in the world. And we use this for many different types of pieces and projects. And most importantly, it's just a beautiful piece to look at. This is built out of a single tree. It was carved out of a tree all of the decorative uh, areas which still have color are the original color of the original drum, over 400 years old. They would have used plants and different types of clay to create the color and the patina that's in the bottom etchings of the drum. And why I really feel that this is an exceptional piece of, uh, of instrumentation to have in the penthouse is it reminds us all of where we came from, where drumming came from, and if you could just imagine 20 warriors uh, perched on a walkway playing all these drums at one time, it must have made the most glorious sound in all of the world. So having the world's tallest drum and the world's largest timpani is an exceptional, exceptional honor to have these instruments so I can share them with my students and so I can share them with you.